knitters, Lindsay and Puddles here with another tutorial from Knit Echo Chic. Today's tutorial is on the invisible hem in Moonlit Kiss. The setup is the trick here. You can notice I placed locking stitch markers every fifth stitch around the cuff, eight rows down from the fold line. Why eight rows? Because my inside hem is eight rows. If you have a larger inside hem, you'll drop this to match. If you have a shorter inside hem, you'll raise this to match. In addition to doing every fifth, I did one on the first stitch, of course. Once that's complete, you can turn your garment inside out and then fold at the purl fold row. As you can see, I'm going to unfold just for a second. You can glimpse the locking stitch marker every five stitches, and that's the first one. Now you can place additional locking stitch markers every five stitches on your needle or if you don't want to mess with extra stitch markers, just pull five or ten stitches and leave the rest to be dealt with at, in the next section. And that's why I love Magic Loop. <laughs> I've got my ten stitches pulled. I know the fifth stitch will line up with this locking stitch marker and the tenth will line up with that locking stitch marker. Now it's just a matter of whip stitching or grafting the live stitches to the purl bumps in the corresponding row. I prefer grafting, but whip stitch works perfectly fine. And the first one, because it's on the detail, is going to be a graft to a knit as opposed to a graft to a purl. So in the first leg, find the locking stitch marker. There it is peeking through. And I'm going to trace. I don't want to trace the locking stitch marker. Trace the stitch and then down the second leg and slip it off. And second stitch up the first leg. This one will be matching a half knit and a half purl. So trace the stitch. and down the second leg and slip it off. Next, third stitch. Up the first leg, down across the purl bump, down the second leg, and down, slip it off and up the next stitch. That's three stitches done. This is number four. And number five. And lo and behold, fifth stitch for grafting, and I'm at my fifth stitch marker. It's just a way to make sure you don't go sideways or slanted and throw off and have extra stitches at the end and have to ungraft. Again, move the stitch marker out of the way, pick up the leg. And down. And you can continue in this manner until you have completed them all. And then one last thing I like to do is retention so that I don't have any messy graphs. I did that on this first one. And you can see it's all perfectly tensioned so everything lies nice and smooth and flat. From the right side you see a very small line and the hem has been blocked and the line on the hem is even less noticeable. Still there but a pretty invisible seam if I do say so. Puddles and I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial for Moonlit Kiss and you enjoy the invisible hem trick. Happy knitting! <laughs>